Hi, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I am going to talk about emotions today. Um, yeah, there's actually <clears throat> quite a lot to cover, but I won't cover it all. I'll just do my best to give a perspective on how emotions can cause back pain. Um, I'll share a little bit about what you can do about it and um, yeah hopefully just give you a bit of insight something to think about something to uh, to work with so um, yeah so <clears throat> what could I say why do repressed emotions cause back pain so yeah the answer to that question is uh, gonna have to be directed towards uh, what's called our repressed emotions. So, you know, to give an example of a repressed emotion and what that is, uh, when we're kids, and let's just say we get angry or we get pissed off when we're kids with our parents or uh, whoever else, uh, it could be bullies at school, could be, um, yeah, being left out by your peer group. There could be a number of reasons why when we're kids we, um, yeah, can feel frustrated, right? So in those moments when we are frustrated as kids, one of the hardest things to do is actually express our emotions naturally. So, for example, that moment when we're pissed off, we you know, it could be something as innocuous as not getting the Christmas gift we wanted, uh, the chocolate bar, or in relation to uh, other kids or friends or peers at school being left out, being, you know, being alienated. And, you know, as a kid, that's hurtful, right? And it's, no one wants to be rejected. No one wants to be you know, left out and, you know, being kids, all we want is our needs to be met and we want uh, to be accepted. And um, the emotions and the feelings that arise when we are in those positions as children uh, can be a little bit too much for us to handle. So, you know, instead of let's say going into a tantrum or yeah expressing the sadness or the disappointment in those moments uh, if we don't have a safe environment to do that i.e if our parents or our peer group um, don't i don't know don't accept uh, you know, an angry me, an angry kid, an angry you. And so you hold those emotions in, you don't express them. You don't feel safe to express them, you're simply stuck. So, <clears throat> so what happens? What happens especially if it happens over and over again? if we get rejected repeatedly or we have those feelings of frustration and disappointment but we have nowhere uh, or no one to share them with, you know? Then years later, you know, we might find ourselves as an adult in a position. We might find ourselves being rejected or you know, conjuring up those same feelings of anger or frustration or disappointment over a particular situation, then, um, you know, it's like, uh, like a body memory. It's kind of, you. Yeah, we've all had that feeling that we've, if we've been so frustrated, you know, we, ah, we just want to shake, we don't know what to do with it. Yeah. It's almost like we're at a loss. We're at a loss because we, we've just got that inner agitation and there's that feeling of I want to do something with it I, uh, and I can't, right? Now, if this happens enough times and 
we don't feel those emotions properly or we don't ever get to safely express those emotions and by safely I mean confiding with a friend uh, even as far as going to a therapist to discuss your emotions or journaling something I've spoken about before and will speak about again you know expressing your emotions for yourself feeling the feelings you know um, letting the anger what are you angry about what are you what are you sad about what are you disappointed about because the longer we don't express those emotions the longer we consider it too uncomfortable to feel and express those emotions then the more chance we've got of a sort of a residual build up let's say inside of our system and you know the emotional pain that seems almost unbearable to express becomes what's called repressed i.e. we almost don't even know that we're pushing it down um, and all of our all of our systems you know let's say our brain right our brain is processing all of this information all the time and your brain is a learning machine so it learns that whatever emotion is too difficult anger rage deep sadness depression you name it we've all we've all experienced various iterations through our lives of these sorts of feelings and um, often they're not comfortable right so <clears throat> so our brain our system kind of goes hey you know what we've we've built a new pattern we've learned a new pattern and the pattern is don't feel the emotion because you can't express it there's nowhere to express it it's not safe to express it so um, so what happens eventually the repeated repression the repeated pattern of emotional avoidance eventually comes through as pain um, sounds simple but it's not um, and it's just a natural process it seems you know it seems it's a natural process that for some reason has been misunderstood uh, for some reason any mention of psychological or emotional issues related to pain can be triggering for some people uh, I've been there myself I suppose when it's come to being a bit defensive of my pain I it's all in your head sort of shit the feeling of nobody believes me because they're suggesting it's psychological or emotional um, I understand that I really do deeply uh, but I can tell you right now if you want to get better if you want to prove to yourself that it is safe to feel the emotions then uh, you need to get on board with this um, when you start reading into it when you start researching it and if you have an intuitive sense that the the mind and the body and the brain and our thoughts and all of that all of that system is connected then I'm sure you can imagine that um, you know that our body and our system and our brain can work in this way so something to think about <clears throat> something to take on board if you're in a lot of pain go to a quiet room ask yourself how you're feeling and, um, and don't be afraid because it's fear the brain is saying you know what it's too scary to feel these emotions we don't have anywhere to express them it's not safe so I'll tell you what have some back pain instead so um, so yeah think about that start journaling start breathing start feeling your emotions and um, see what happens so um, good luck if you've got questions comments Fire them down below, you know what to do. Otherwise, take care. See you soon and good luck.